The most interesting thing that's happened to me recently was a patient that I had up on the floor. Um, they were breathing through a tracheostomy in the neck. Uh, that's basically a tube that's entered through into the trachea that helps them breathe. Um, that popped out. Uh, whenever it came out, there wasn't anybody there to put it back in. I just happened to be walking past the room and heard a commotion in the room. And uh, I was glad I was walking by because I was able to pop that back in. And the guy actually thanked me afterwards, so it was pretty rewarding. When I was in high school, I took masonry as a, as a trade. That's what I thought I wanted to do. I wanted to be in construction. When I got out and I worked in construction, I realized that uh, that's not where I wanted to be. It was very hard work, and I continually hurt myself. Uh, every time I would hurt myself, I'd end up in a hospital. And I kind of looked around at the people that were in the hospital, and I saw that uh, they weren't in bad danger. They were in air conditioning in the summer. They were in heat in the winter. Uh, it, seemed like a, it seemed like a happy place to work. There was a lot of action going on, and I figured that uh, going into the healthcare field was, was a good choice for me. Well, I looked at other fields. I, I looked at radiology. I looked at, uh, I looked at nursing, and I just decided that I, I couldn't deal with the patients like the nurses could. I couldn't, I couldn't find myself taking pictures all day in radiology. I felt that respiratory was a field that I could um, circulate throughout the hospital. Once I learned about it, it was, it was a good choice for me. Uh, I don't like to be tied down in one location. I like to be mixing and mingling, um, going to certain areas and respiratory gave me a real large versatility in the, in the hospital set. Uh, we're in high demand as a profession, and that demand keeps growing. So with that becomes flexible scheduling. You get to, uh, you, you get time off. Um, some of us work 12-hour shifts. Some of us work eight-hour shifts. Uh, some people only work three days a week. Um, some people have been known to work two days a week, 24 hours a day. It depends on the facility you get into. Um, depends on the hours that you choose. Some are chosen for you, um, but it, you have to be selective in the place that you pick to work. Respiratory therapists can be responsible for many roles. We'll start out doing breathing treatments, which is a basic uh, giving medication to patients who have asthma or bronchitis or emphysema. Uh, we'll also go to all the emergencies in the hospital. We'll go to all of the codes. If somebody's in, in a code situation, respiratory therapist is always responsible for going to those. We go to the, uh, the newborns in the newborn nursery. Um, we'll go to all the traumas that come into the emergency room. A respiratory therapist is always uh, needed in that situation. We're always on the go. We don't like to stay still. Um, one thing that we do is crisis management very well. Uh, we're leaders in that area. If there's a problem, we're going to try to take care of it as fast as we possibly can correctly so that we can move on to the next problem. One of our most exciting things as a respiratory therapist, or for myself, is going to the traumas in the ER. Um, I kind of enjoy the blood and guts of the whole scene. The, uh, the testosterone level is up and everybody's running around and everything's anxious and everything's immediate. And I like that rush, that adrenaline rush that I get with that. Sometimes you'll see things that you wouldn't think of seeing on television. Um, you see some, some pretty tough stuff. You, don't, you have to have a tough stomach for some of the things that you see. Healthcare in South Carolina seems to continually grow. Uh, since I've been here for 10 years, I've watched, I've watched the healthcare field grow, at least in the town that I'm in, and I know that the, the towns around here are the same way. Um, on a national average, healthcare is just going through the roof. There are so many openings, there's so many abilities. There are so many people that are retiring that, um, that allow you to grow within the, the healthcare field. I would, I would accept any phone call that came into the hospital, and I have before from high school students asking me about the field. They'll just call right into the hospital, ask to talk to the respiratory therapy department and you're going to land a respiratory therapist and you can plug questions away to them. They can answer what their career was, how they went through it, what schools they went to, how they got to where they are. It would be a very good thing. I wish I would have done that at an earlier age.